Okay, so we learned about protected range registers. Now let's learn about attacking them, how an attacker would try to bypass them. So I'm almost certainly going to regret this. I'm gonna build up the threat tree in line in the animations of this thing. It looks way better, but it's probably going to lead to extremely difficult video editing later. Anyways, attacker goal is to write persistent malware into the spy flash. The defender will set protected range registers in order to try to stop them. What's the attacker going to do in response to that? Well, the attacker can actually just go in and change the protected range registers. And the defense for that is to lock the protected range registers with the flockdown bit, flash lockdown bit. So if you go back and you look a little more carefully at this protected range register zero, and of course I do recommend that you always look very carefully at the manuals, whatever documentation is available to you, you will see that it actually says of this register that it is read-write. It doesn't actually say directly that it is lockable. There's no lock bits right here. So who protects the protector? Well, this dude does. Flock down. So if you read the thing, it says the register cannot be written when the flock down bit is set to one. So what's flock down? Flock down at spy bar plus four in the hardware sequencing flash status register is bit 15. And it says that it's readable, writable, and lockable. And so typically when an Intel register says it's lockable, that will very often mean that if you set this thing, then it can't be unset until the system resets. But we'll go into this a whole lot more when we start talking about power on resets and sleep attacks. So anyways, flock down is a thing that when you set this to one, then a whole bunch of other registers all of a sudden become non-writable. So it says when you set this to one, those flash program registers that are locked down by this bit cannot be written. It doesn't actually tell you what they are. You have to go scrape around in the documentation looking for things that reference flock down. And then it says once this is set, can only be cleared by a hardware reset due to a global reset or a host partition reset in an Intel ME enabled system. And so that's the little conditionality that we're going to learn a lot more about later on when we talk about power states. So like I said, you got to scrape around in the data sheets to figure out what is actually locked by Flockdown. So what I came up with, and you know, who knows, there could be more stuff, but I came up with the protected range registers, all five of them. Came up with the Flash Region Access Permissions Register, FRAP, which I used to represent by Fla Frappuccino. But uh, that has a couple other things inside of it that have to do with BIOS master write access granting and read access granting, which basically has to do with this notion. In the optional material, we talked about how, uh, you know, different spy bus masters can or cannot access each other's flash. Well, there's these registers that basically say, well, I would like to actually grant the management engine access to my flash. You know, I want the management engine to be able to write to my BIOS flash, or I want the Intel gigabit ethernet read engine to be able to read from my BIOS flash. So those particular bits, we don't super much care about them. Hopefully they're just set to zero, so the BIOS is not giving out any extra permissions. But uh, if, however they're set, they will be locked down when flock down is set. Then we mostly had seen things like hardware sequencing, but the software sequencing register has within it a few bits that can be locked down and these have to do with the spy cycle frequency. And so changing those could potentially lead to errors when talking to the spy flash chip. So that's a good thing to lock down. And then there's some other stuff about different opcodes that can or can't be sent to the, uh, sent to this flash chip when you're in software sequencing mode. Flipping the page, looking at the 100 series chipset, you know, what I came up with is the protected range registers and this particular register name, which still inside of it has this BIOS master write access grant and BIOS master read access grant. So again, those have to do with the BIOS granting other spy flash masters access, read or write access to its region of the spy flash chip. And for what it's worth, as you're searching around in the manuals looking for Flockdown, you will come across the fact that the Gigabit Ethernet engine also has its own separate Flockdown that can be used to lock registers. But we don't really care about that that much in this class.